Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a turntable video in Clo 3D. Let's dive into it. So the first thing we want to do once we've completed our garment is go up to the top of our screen and click render. Now I already have a render here, but if nothing shows up for you, just go ahead and click this interactive render button and you will get a preview of your render. Now, assuming you're happy with how everything looks in your render preview as far as textures and lighting, you can come over here to a button that says Image and Video Properties, and when you click on it, you're going to get a drop-down menu. And guys, just a quick call out, if you start an interactive render, always make sure to click Stop so it doesn't slow down your computer in the background. Alright guys, so let's jump back to this menu here. The first setting is Image slash Video, and here's where we're actually going to be able to choose Turntable Images. And now that we've chosen turntable images, we're going to see this setting right below it called image count. And we're going to be able to choose how many images we want to go into this video. As you can imagine, if we choose 360 images, it's going to be a very smooth turntable video, but it's also going to take a lot longer. If we keep it at close default four, it's only going to take four images, front, back, side, side, and it's going to be a very choppy turntable. So I typically like to do 360 or 180 if I need to do this fast. All right, and jumping down to these two buttons, save video and save GIF. Now, if you'd like, you can check both or one of them on. This is going to let Clo 3 d actually take all of your images and automatically compress them down to a video or a GIF for you, which is really nice. But at the same time, once you check these buttons on, you're gonna see that the, the option to have transparent background disappears. Meaning if you let Clo compress these images for you, you have to choose a color of a background here or add a texture. For me, I really want to render this turntable with a transparent background, so I'm going to check off both of these settings and I'm just going to render all of these images and compile them myself in Adobe Premiere. Now, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail about render settings in this video, but I am going to call out the most important things, one of them being image size. I think by default, Clove 3D has you rendering at 640 by 480, which is pretty small. So I definitely recommend you increase the width and height of your render. I'm doing 1920 by 1920. I would recommend at least doing that. All right, jumping down to background. As I already mentioned, I'm going to render my garment with a transparent background, but if you have a solid color or some sort of texture you want to upload, feel free to do that here. And finally, I'm just going to give my file a name and I'm going to choose a file path so I can choose where this images are saving. All right, we're almost ready to start our final render, but let's tweak a few more settings to ensure it looks great. So let's come up here and click on this button that's gonna open a new menu called Render Properties. And the first thing we want to do in this menu is, if possible, make sure GPU is selected. This is going to help our render go a little bit faster. The next thing we want to do is reduce the noise threshold. By default, I believe Clo has it at 0 0.050. I'm going to reduce it about halfway down, because keep in mind that the farther you reduce this number, the longer the render is going to take. So you got to kind of find a balance with quality versus time. Now we want to jump down to quality and I'm going to make sure my light and material settings are on high. Again, you can choose very high if you'd like a little bit higher quality, but it will take longer. So just be mindful of the settings you choose compared to the quality you need for this project. All right, guys, and the last step is to simply come up here and click start. Now, if you checked on the save video or save GIF button in Clo 3 d you should have either a video or a GIF already compiled for you. But if you rendered your garment with transparent background like I did, you should have a series of 360 images in this folder. So I'm going to create a new project file in Adobe Premiere. I'm going to go File, Import, and then I'm going to find my folder with my turntable renders. I'm going to click on the first image of the series and make sure image sequence is checked on. Then I'm going to go Open, and when I drag my video over here to the editor, and I click play, it should play smoothly for me. And I know this might look like it's on a black background, but if I go ahead and put a background image behind my renders, you can see that it is transparent. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the background, click effects controls, and I want to make sure the background is scaled up to fit the square. And then my render would look something like this, and I could go ahead and just export it. And again, the reason I like rendering this with a transparent background is because I only have to render the garment once and I can swap in infinite backgrounds and export it a million different ways if I want. 
Um, if you export it as a video or a GIF in Clo, you are stuck to the background you choose. And the last thing I want to show you in Adobe Premiere is that if you want to make this video faster or slower, you can simply click on the video, right click, speed and duration, and you can make it less than or more than 100. I'm going to choose 200, which is going to double the speed. Then if I drag the background to match that, when I play it, you will see the video is now twice as fast. And once you're happy with your video, you can come up here to File, Export, Media. All of these settings should be pretty good. You just want to make sure you give your file a name, choose the location you want it to save to, and then if for some reason the video isn't matching up to the dimensions that you've chosen, simply come down here under Video and click Match Source. And it should make the video export just how you've created it. So go ahead and click export and that is the final step. And there you have it guys. That is how you create turntable videos in Clo 3D. And if you're someone that's looking to improve your Clo 3D garments as a whole, but you're struggling to know where to start, be sure to check out my course, Level Up Your Clo 3D Garments, where I go over a ton of information just like this that can help you take your garments from very average to incredible. All right guys, so as always, thank you for watching and good luck.